What's up, family? Welcome to That Sports Dude. As always, I'm your host, Chris Dunlap, and we are here in Coolidge Coast Country for stop number two of our DCIAA football training camp tour. I appreciate you guys for tuning in right here to TSBN as we give you this in-depth look at training camp. Um, we hope you enjoy stop number one, which was Dunbar, and we also hope that you enjoy the additional stops that are on the way of this DCIAA training camp tour. Now, what better place to bring to number two, stop number two, than the defending DCIAA Gravy Bowl champions, the Coolidge Colts. I mean, perfect stop. Wouldn't you guys agree? Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. Now, coming into this season, kind of similar to Dunbar, Coolidge are still the defending champions. Even though we didn't have a season last year at DCIAA, until somebody knocks Coolidge in the, in the Stripes division, until somebody knock it, knocks Coolidge off of the throne, they are still the DCIAA defending champions. Um, so, and coming into this season, even though they're still the defending champions, they still fly under the radar. One thing that you guys will see in the next segment um, that I'm going to talk to Coach Nesbitt about, one thing I love about Coolidge, about this Kevin Nesbitt-led Coolidge program, is that they don't do a lot of blabbing, a lot of trash talking on social media. Man, they pick up their lunch pail and they go to work every single day, put their heads down and just grind it out. See, from a coach's perspective, that is great because you, usually you don't want your players to do a lot of trash talking. You want them to be able, you want them to just show up every single day and just put the work in, put the work in, put the work in. And uh, that's one thing that uh, this Kevin Nesbitt led Coolidge program does on an everyday basis, a consistent basis. <clears throat> now, in 2019 was no, it was, was definitely an example of that. Now, coming into la going into 2019, um, if you guys um, checked out the 2019 DCIAA football preview special, we didn't even talk about Coolidge because I didn't know anything about them. Coming into, coming, going into that season, for lack of a better term, and no disrespect to what, the, to the season that they eventually had, a championship season, I thought it was going to be Coolidge as usual, the last three or four years, maybe a one-win team, a two-win team, or a no-win team. Absolutely the opposite, and um, playmakers, playmakers, playmakers led the way in that. Um, a championship season, a state championship appearance, um, the MVP of the, of the Stripes division in Tyon Pelham, um, and an all-men in Tyon Pelham as well, and just absolutely dominant, absolutely dominant. Now, um, that season is over though. Um, so coming into this season, one thing that I believe will help Coolidge in their quest to repeat as DCIAA Stars, um, Stripes Division Champions, um, is the Wolf Out Warrior Pipeline. As long as Kez Kevin Nesbitt has been a coach, as long as he will be. And coming into this season, now that 2019 is in the past, um, Kevin Nesbitt told me as we were setting up, setting up the interview um, that you guys will see in a second, um, ripped down the 2019 banner to let his guys know, and you guys will see it, that 2019 can't help them. So coming into this season, I think the one thing that is going to aid Coolidge in their quest for back-to-back -back DCIAA Gravy Bowl championships is the War 5 Warrior Pipeline. Um, Kevin Nesbitt and his coaching staff have run, um, have led the War 5 Warrior um, football youth program um, for many, many years, much, long, much, 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 much longer before he came here to Coolidge. Um, so as long as Kevin Nesbitt is a coach here at Coolidge, they will always have numbers and they'll always have talent. Now, I have to be honest with you guys, you know, you guys know um, whether it's predictions, whether it's um, me commentating or whether it's on social media, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to fake the funk. None of that. I don't do any of that. Same as 2019. I didn't know much about Coolidge and kind of this shit is kind of the same thing. Like I said, even though they're the defending champions, man, they still fly so, so far under the radar, which is why I'm so excited in our next segment um, to talk to Coach Kevin Nesbitt and see who are some players we should look out this year, some senior, junior, sophomore, and freshman players that we should look out for. And even then even some players who will be um, the next Coolidge stars who aren't in high school yet, some of the War 5 Warrior Pipeline players that we'll see up here at Coolidge in due time. So after this break, I'm going to get the full scoop on Coolidge. Kevin Nesbitt is going to join me next. Keep it locked. That sports dude will be right back after this.
All right, welcome back, good people. Stop number two of our DCI AA training camp tour brings us to Coolidge, and of course, I had to get a championship winning head coach's insight. Joining me right now is Coolidge head coach, Kevin Nesbitt. Coach, good to see you, what's good up, big man. dog? Appreciate How you feel? I'm doing good, blessed, man. Always, that's the best way to be. Yes, sir. Well, man, in that same vein, of course I gotta ask you this, man. How does it feel to be right back on the field, you know, after about 18 months of no, of no football? How does it feel to be back? It feels just like probably a six, seven-year-old boy uh, the day before <laughs> Christmas. Um, very excited about it, still being cautious. Yes. You know, we want to make sure we don't want to be in this situation again. But it's just a, just a great thing to just have our kids be able to utilize their facilities again and uh, keep them on the, you know, the right path. Right, right, right. And so let's get into it, man. One thing, and I've gone on record saying this, one thing I love about your program is that you guys don't do a whole lot of talk and a whole lot of brag and a whole lot of trash talking. Pretty much lunch pail and you just get to work. Yeah, it's a do your job thing here. Yeah. Like we, we don't focus on outside. We live in the horseshoe here. Mm -hmm. All we concerned about is what goes on at Coolidge. Right. Um, only thing we can fix is what we do. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing we just say, we just it's more, more beneficial for other people to talk about your work. So we just, that's just how we are. I agree with that. And in this, you know, in this time, especially um, from a coach's perspective, mm -hmm. in this time, you know, of social media, Twitter, Instagram, um, TikTok, Snapchat, and all the whole nine, has it been difficult, you know, to get your kids to buy into that, um, into that philosophy? Yeah, great question. Yeah, I got a new group of kids uh, just coming in mm -hmm. uh, that's not familiar with, with a lot of things I do. Mm -hmm. and the reason I don't like social media and things of that nature. Yeah. And don't get it, you know, get me wrong, social media is a great platform for kids. If used but properly. You, yeah, you just gotta right. be careful what you say, how you say it, um, who you hang around. So it's a good thing, it's a good way for me to uh, teach these kids on people is always watching. Now one thing everybody will remember um, about your 2019, which is the last time we, you know, were on the field, it was absolutely loaded with playmakers, no doubt about it. Tyon Pelham, um, Deshaun Hancock, others, man, just absolutely carried the team. Big, big time playmakers. Um, so coming into this season, man, who are some players we should expect to make a, a big impact for Coolidge? We, we, who, who are some of those names? Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's going to be hard to replace what Tyon Pelham did. Yeah. We got a, 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 a junior, Anthony Nicholson. Mm -hmm. uh, he can make some amazing catches. He has his own style. Um, he's a workaholic. Mm -hmm. um, he Love puts that. his head down and he gets it in. And he, he's never played high school football, so he's very, very geared up into showing people what he can do. Uh, also, on the offensive side of the ball, we got a kid, Jeremiah. Um, he's a he's a team leader. He's a natural. These guys, they came here just wanting it, and uh, mm -hmm. we just give it to them. We just give them what they need to be successful. I love that. I love that. And in last year's show. Um, kind of in that same vein, talking about some players we should be on the lookout for. We talked about um, your youth program, Warfire Warriors, right. um, and how a lot of your players have been with you since they were as young as nine years old. You know, speaking back to the Tyon Pellers and the right. Deshaun Hancocks. Um, so a lot of your players already know, or at least most of them already know and have an idea of what your philosophy is. So how valuable has that been um, coming into this season after not having a season last year. Yeah, we had uh, Marcel Simmons. He actually was the last Florida team I had, I mm -hmm. believe. Uh, he's playing the middle back. Uh, Coach Lou put him at the Sam or the middle. Mm -hmm. um, but he's definitely been that guy in the locker room and explaining to Coach Kevin ways to these kids because it's, it's foreign language to a lot of these guys. So <laughs> him and little JV, uh, little Way, mm -hmm. uh, they, those guys played with me for a long time, so it's, it is good for them to be able to uh, teach them. Plus, my son is a War Five Warriors okay. uh, alum, Coolidge alum, and he's a coach. He's an offensive coordinator up here, yeah. so that helps out. He's just 22 years old, so wow. that helps out as well. And just graduated, am I just right? Just graduated yeah. from Virginia Congratulations, State. I'm a Boy man. State guy, but yeah, y'all uh, know, y'all know, y'all know. So man, and, and let's stay with uh, um, some guys. Let's let's stay with the Warfire Warrior field where, where we at right now. Um, who are some freshmen or you know soon to be freshmen, even guys who aren't in high school right. just yet, um, that are coming straight from that W5W pipeline that we should expect and put on our radars to be the next big time coolest football stars. Oh yeah, we got little J.C. On Robertson. Mm -hmm. uh, they call him Way. Uh -huh. He's a cornerback, running back, stud kid. Uh, 
He's gonna get some time this year. Okay. Uh, definitely. Um, but uh, he's definitely one. We got Jay Twan, offensive lineman, mm -hmm. uh, freshman, incoming freshman. And far as you know, younger kids, we yeah. got uh, Derek Washington. Little, uh, his father's a head basketball coach. Oh, he's okay. gonna be a stud running back. Uh, I believe in two years. Wow. I think he's a seventh grader. So we got a couple, couple of those younger kids that's gonna be. They're going to be ready. Yeah, what a story that's going to be. Yeah. Coach Dirk Coach Dirk leading the oh, yeah, basketball team, then his son. Now, man, as I mentioned um, as I mentioned in my last segment, you guys are still the defending champions. Until you guys, until somebody knocks you guys off, you guys are still the defending champions, and that cannot be denied. So now, is, now as the hunted, you know, it's much different, and I know you have experience being coming into the season as a champion in, in, in your youth ball years. Um, as the hunted, what will we see from this year's Coolidge Coach program? Yeah, well, my kids pretty much know how I feel about the 2019 championship because I ripped the uh, banner off uh, wow. just to let those guys know that 2019 is, is has cannot help us right, right now. That's true. So uh, we do realize uh, a lot of people kind of know who we are mm -hmm. now, but uh, we still don't have the respect that we need to get. So. Um, you know, it's just one game at a time. Our first game we had Kip, mm -hmm. so we focus on them right now. And uh, once we get there, we just keep taking those steps up the ladder. But we have our eyes on the prize. Gotcha, so there's gotcha. a 13 ladders we have to climb to get to where we need to be. One game at a time. That's one the, game at a time. That's yeah. the best way to go. But so, coach, as always, my always, friend, it's man. always good to see you, always good to rap with you. Man, can't wait to see what you guys put on the field. As you guys are getting ready to do this uh, in the team scrimmage, I can't wait to get some yeah. shots of that, man. It's gonna be great. All right, take it from me, y'all. 2019 was no fluke. This Coach Nesbitt-led Coolidge program is for real, absolutely for real. So be sure you guys subscribe right here to TSDN. Hit the bell as well so you don't miss any updates throughout um, this DCIAA training camp tour. And then as we get into football season, you guys don't want to miss anything. You know, TSDN is your number one media source for DCIAA sports. So on behalf of Coach Kevin Nesbitt and the Coolidge Coach program, I'm your host, Chris Dunlap. Peace.